wow. Do you remember the place? Okay, after I nearly arc welded my ring to the Range Rover, uh, this should fire right out. Just in case you haven't picked it up yet, this is the new project car. <laughs> oh yes! Oh. oh, steering! Oh, it feels so good in this. I almost forgot how good it is. If you remember the very first episode that we did, I was sitting in the bare tub of the Range Rover talking about why it is a special car to us. Now I'm not in a bare tub and I'm not going to make a 15 minute rant again, but here's the short gist of it. My very first car that I purchased with my own money was a Porsche 924 in silver. I crashed it after three weeks and then got a new one a while after that, a white one. And through many coincidences, I ended up with that car broken. And then I bought the car that you've seen in a couple of episodes in the background, which is the black one. Unlike George, it's never been a car that got a lot of attention. It had a lot of work done to it by me in the beginning, but then it got used as a daily driver for years on end. So when we came back a couple of months ago, the goal had always been to resurrect the car and get it back on the road. Now, <laughs> in the last weeks of our trip, I was already looking forward for a new project and I'm sorry, it's not a Land Rover. But the main reason for that is purely cash. We just happen to have the Porsche, and so it's now time to make something cool out of that.
I'm really sorry that I'm not going to tell you what exactly is about to happen here, but rest assured, it's not going to be boring. And also, after the car failed miserably at tech inspection here two days ago, I am now in the mood to make a bit of a workshop series anyway. It's not going to take as long as the Range Rover though, and it's not going to be as drastic. I think. I hope.